Yo folks, how y'all doing today? Money Minute 75, back for another match day vlog. Guys, it's Derby Day. The last Derby of the season, and the stakes could not be higher. Now, after last night's 1-1 draw between Aberdeen and Rangers, the stakes for Hibs could not be higher. A win tonight, and a win on Sunday against Rangers, we will finish second in the SPL. Monumental achievement if it happens. Let's no mess about, guys. It's a, it would be a fantastic achievement for the newly promoted team to finish runners up in the SPL. Um, I've got to be honest enough to say, I'm really, really nervous about tonight because in the past, obviously, we, you know, we've spoken about big stakes and sometimes Hibs are renowned for bottling it. Some something's telling me tonight is going to be completely different, purely because again, I've, I've spoken quite a lot about the mentality. Uh, the mentality at Hibs nowadays and the fact that, you know, we're, we're really mentally strong. We've got battlers in there just now, you know. In that team, we have got a lot of battlers, teams, who, uh, guys who will absolutely die for the shot, which is something that we've not had for a long, long time. Now, I say the stakes are high. The stakes are high for Hibs. Let's be honest, Hearts do not have anything to play for tonight. It's simply pride. And to be quite honest with you guys, I, I don't know whether or not that plays right into Hearts' hands. Bearing in mind that again, they have lost every game in the split that you know thus far. And wouldn't it just be Hibs to go into this game against Hearts, knowing that they've lost every game thus far, and get beat? So that has been playing on my mind all day long. I don't think it's going to come to that, to be quite honest. I, I just, there's something telling me that Lenny is going to have them up for the game. You know, the, the team that we've got there is a quality team. And I have to say one thing about the night's game is the fact we have got battlers in there. I know I've already said that, but I'm going to say it again. We have got battlers in that team. Marvin Bartley, Flo, Paul Hanlon, Darren McGregor, Lewis Stevenson... All these guys, they're, wanted, they're got to be willing to die for the shot. And that is, again, something that we have lacked for a lot, a lot of years. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't even talk about it. I am really, really nervous about tonight's game. Purely because it's a derby, it's away from home. Listen, if we were playing at home tonight, it wouldn't be a case of, if we're going to beat them, it would be a case of by how many. Um, there is no getting away from the fact that Hearts have had a really, really poor season. There is no getting away from that. Do you know what I mean? And whether, you know, I was reading the paper there the other day, eh, the day, sorry, I beg your pardon, was it there yesterday? It didn't matter. Um, and that Michael Smith, they're right back. Hearts are a better team. Hearts are a better team. Hearts are a better team. What planet is this boy on? Do you know what I mean? What planet is this boy actually on? Because unfortunately, they're 20 points behind us in the league table. 20 points. And he still has the cheek to say that they're a better team. No, I'm sorry, Fox. Come on. They're no, they've not been a better team than us for a long, long time. And again, I think that is due to the mentality change at Hibs. Hibs used to go into derbies. If we get something out of it, great. If we didn't, well, puh, we're used to it, sort of thing. And it, it was the same in big games. Big games against Celtic, Rangers, Aberdeen. We were so mentally frail. Well, the likes of Neil Lennon and Alan Stubbs has changed that. They've changed that so much in the sense that they now go into these matches, we're excited, we're excited about going into these matches, you know. We look forward to these matches. These are the games we want to be part of. And again, tonight's going to be no different. Do I think we're going to win tonight? Yes, I do. Are we going to be convincing tonight? Yes, we are. I just, again, I've just got that feeling right in the pit of my stomach that says tonight is going to be a good night for Hibs. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see, guys. But predictions at this point, be honest enough to say to you, if you offered me a 1-0-1 one -one or a 2-1-1 -one -one for Hibs now, I would bite your hand off. Bite your hand off. Because it doesn't matter if we win by one goal tonight or by ten. At the end of the day, it's three points tonight. And then we go into Sunday, we're in the driving seat. Do you know what I mean? I know a lot of people have said, but it's Aberdeen who are who are second in the league just now. Yes, Aberdeen are second in the league, but they're not going to go to Parkhead on Sunday and actually get... It's trophy day for Celtic on Sunday. 
there is no danger they are going to get anything for Park Heat on Sunday. And whether they do or not, I don't know, to be honest. But we're just going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to leave the video at this point just now, guys. I will report back to you later on tonight. But, you know, let's get to Tyne Castle. Let's get it done. Let's cheer on the boys and hopefully, fingers crossed, come, come tonight. We have got three points in the bag and we are looking all eyes towards Sunday. But remember, guys, that one thing and that one thing only. Come on, the Habs. Come on, the high bees. Yo, folks. Well, guys, the title of the video, I think, says it pretty much how it is, really. Um, really disappointing um, performance by Habs, I think it's fair to say. Um, so many things have happened since last night. And, listen, this is the second part of the vlog. I've been meaning to do it all day. I would have done it last night uh, after the game, but I was too... I was distraught, I'm not going to lie about it, people can take the piss at me all they want for it, but I was really distraught um, after the game yesterday. Um, you know, and obviously I went on the, the Hibs Talk podcast today, by the way, keep a, a listen out for that, it's, it's really worth a listen. Um, and then obviously, you know, coming home today, so much has happened, you know, Lenny's talking about walking away um, for Hibs, you know, really slating the players. Um getting on his, you know, his own emotions, I suppose, as well, uh, and as I said, you know, this was one of the things that came up in the podcast tonight, um, and it's one thing that I will, I will say, I will say right now, I don't want Neil Lennon to leave Hibs, um, I think he's a fantastic manager, the guy's a winner, which is something that we've lacked for a long, long time, I think, you know, we've, we've lacked that real winning mentality, which in fairness to him, he's brought to the club. So I really want him to stay. Um, I do agree with a lot of people when they say, you know, nobody's bigger than the club. If he wants to walk away, then we let him. Couldn't agree more. You know, if he wants to walk away, then of course he has to walk away. Um, you know, I've heard people say, is it, is it boardroom tactics? Is it for him to get a lot of, you know, a wee bit more money out the board? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And for what I've heard today, and for what I've heard for quite a wee bit, I know that he's he's apparently been unhappy with Hibs for a wee while but I don't know I don't know where anything goes I don't know where um, where do we go from here um, I think you know one, one thing I will say is there's a fine line between irrationality and emotion and I think we saw that line yesterday um, after the game you know you've seen Neil Lennon walking away and he's, he's saying to the Hearts supporters you know it's still 17 points still 17 points behind us and everything like that, and he's thumping the badge and everything like that, and then he goes for that to absolutely lay down the players, you know, which I have to say was deserved, but I'll go on to that in a minute. Um, and yeah, so it just lay down the players, lay down the performance, which again was fully justified, and then he's talking about quitting. To be honest, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where we stand. I don't know where I stand on it. I don't know where... We stand on it as a club, you know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know to be honest, but getting back to the match last night, to be honest with you, it was just, it was absolutely shocking, shocking for Hab's point of view, um, how we could go to Tyne Castle, the tightest pitch in the league by the way, and play with two wingers, to me, uh, we were destined for failure, um, for me we should have started with two up top, Camberry and McLaren should have started up top. That's been the that's been the big partnership this season. Will they carry on with that on Sunday? I don't know. Um, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But really getting back to the match, it was just so poor. Um we got pulled into playing Hearts game, you know, playing hoofball. Um they were winning 50-50s, they were, you know, I will say one thing, and maybe people will I don't know, maybe again, maybe maybe ladle me for this, I don't know, but I can't take anything away. <coughs> Sorry. I can't take anything away for the Hearts' performance. Kyle Lafferty, for me, was man of the match last night. Him and that Harry Cochran, I thought they two were fantastic. They'd done their jobs effectively. They'd done their jobs well. Um, and to me, Hearts fully, fully deserved the win. I'm not going to say for a minute that we deserved anything for that game. Because, to be quite honest with you, I didn't believe that we did. The first goal... <sighs> You know, the first goal, what can you say about it? Lewis Stevenson, one of the most experienced players at Habs. In fact, if not the most experienced player at Habs, switches off like that. Ball watching, 
makes that mistake, and I'm sorry, folks. You know, I, I back Louis Stevenson up quite a lot, but that defending was nothing short of criminal. And then Paul Hanlon for me was at fault for the second goal. Yeah, I've heard people say that the free kick that Hearts got was a bit soft. Yeah, for me it was soft, but the fact of the matter is they got the free kick. We should have defended it. We didn't. The subs that Lenny made, yeah, in my eyes he made the right subs at the right times. They just didn't come off. Like the chance right at the end, Danny McGregor had an air shot. You want Flo or you want you want McLaren on that? You didn't want Danny McGregor. And something that came out for me quite a lot last night was I think Darren McGregor's coming to the end of his Hibs career. For me, he was just no... He wasn't as calm as he was. You know, he wasn't as calm on the ball. Yes, that he's still he's showing a bit of pace, but he wasn't calm. You know, he's usually so so calm on the ball, but it didn't work for him last night. And I think, to be honest, Father Time's catching up with him. So I'm being honest, see for the game on Sunday... I would actually put Ryan Porteous in at right uh, at centre back because I think he's just a natural successor to him. But that's my opinion. Um, looking onto the game on Sunday, we're really going to have to go some um, to get anything out of the Rangers game. I think we've just gave them all the incentive to just come back, to just go Easter Road and sit back um, and do nothing really because yeah, they're going to have to go for the win as well if they want to finish second above Aber Aberdeen. Um, but. It, it just I don't know I I don't know where um I don't know where we go for here to be honest it's a really confusing time to be not a confusing time to be a hub supporter I'm going to take that back but the la like the last twenty four hours have been just such a whirlwind how we can go for being like before the derby especially after Tuesday night you know we were we were in the clouds you know we we thought myself included and as I said in the start of the vlog you know I thought we were going to do it you know it just it, everything just seemed to be ticking up for us and then it didn't it didn't work. So to go through that to how we're we're all feeling now is is just such a contrast in emotions. Um but yeah. We're just gonna have to wait and see guys. And listen, I I heard today I've had people asking me, you know, if I've if I've packed in the videos because I've not done it for a wee while and then obviously I'm doing the podcasting now as well. I want you to know that I am fully committed to doing videos for years. I know that the last couple, in my opinion, have they've been good, but they've not been great. And I want to try and do as many great videos as I possibly can. It's a bit, it's a bit hard sometimes, especially when you've got other commitments. Like you know, I've got other commitments here as well, the same as what everybody else does. But you know, doing the podcast and as well, I've done a great podcast with with Gav and, and the rest of the lads at Hibs Talk today. Um, you know, which was fantastic for me to go through. Really have the proper equipment there, which was fantastic, and I really really enjoyed that. And I hope it's the first of many, to be honest. Um, so for me, as I say, that's that's a positive. But I want to keep going on with the videos as well, and just basically keep doing what I'm doing because I know that people like it as well. So um, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to leave the video there just now. Uh, I'm sorry that it wasn't a you know a happy one. I wish I could have brought you happy news, but unfortunately, that's the way football is. Unfortunately. Um, but anyway, all eyes to Sunday, all eyes to the Rangers game, and we'll just see what happens, guys. But just please remember that one thing and that one thing only. Come on the hubs, come on the high and enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Okay, cheerio, bye.